Hi there. Do you like big boxes? I certainly do. <laughs> so when this big box came and I get a lot of, this is from a big bad toy store. I get a lot of, um, I make a lot of orders through them. They're slightly more expensive than a lot of other toy retailers, but they have a really cool feature that I love. Uh, for one, I mostly pre-order my stuff through them. So I get my stuff well ahead of time to make sure I get a copy of it and everything like that. But, um, one of the features I really like about them is they have a uh, loot box feature. So basically, Say I pre-order something like six months before it comes out. Once it comes out, when I bought it, I just put it add to my loot box. So it will, once it comes in, I'll pay for it when it comes in. They'll put it in my loot box, which is basically warehouse space storage in their uh, company. And I think they let you keep things in there uh, so several months. I think it might be as long as six months. I'm not sure. It's, it's several months for sure, but I will often get uh, a bunch of things. I just have them sit there in their warehouse. And once I see some things start needing to be shipped or things like that, they'll go ahead and hit um, send me with my loot box or whatever, and they'll ship them all at once. So this is months and months. Some of the stuff I bought years ago on pre-order just finally came out, but this stuff's been sitting in storage in their warehouse for months. And then they'll they'll let you they'll send you an email or whatever saying, hey, your storage uh, time is about to expire, something like that. Um, so pay for your shit and I mean you already paid for it but you just have to pay for the, the tax and the shipping but anyways uh, every once in a while they will I'll click uh, you know send me my loot box and it's fun doing that because like this this is the biggest one I've ever gotten because I think there's a giant Godzilla in here I think but um it's really fun because you get a big box with all kinds of shit that you've forgotten that you've ordered throughout the year it's really neat so I really enjoy uh and I'm not sponsored by a big bad toy store or anything like that I only have like 300 subs. Nobody cares about my channel. Nobody's going to sponsor me, okay? But, uh, yeah, this is fantastic. So I'm going to crack this bad boy open and uh, see what kind of cool stuff's in here. But I just want to do a quick video about uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I think that's a really cool business model that they have. And it can't be, I mean, it can't be cheap like that. I mean, they're literally, you're basically renting in the price of the toy that you buy. You're renting storage space. So it's kind of an interesting uh, concept. They're a new corporation. They're only a couple years old. But, uh... Not a corporation, but store, whatever you want to say. Yeah, let's get the thing open and see what cool stuff's in here. Uh, one brief note before I open this box up is I always use my tomahawk because I think it's funny and dramatic to open things with the tomahawk. But um, I collect edged weapons, bladed weapons, whatever you want to call these. Um, so I have all kinds of things. Like I have, you know, different tomahawks I could use to open the boxes. Or I have like a, like a British style dagger. Those are the double sided blade, you know. Or I have, I have a variety of fighting knives, all kinds of different fighting knives I could use. Uh, switch blades, I have butterfly knives, I have all kinds of different things. But um, one thing that I haven't really showed off to anybody on YouTube, mainly because I don't want to make anybody feel intimidated, or I don't really want to brag about this this huge knife that I have, but it's probably my, uh, my, prize, my most prized possession as far as a bladed weapon goes. With this knife, you can't just pull it out like a normal knife all whimsical and carefree. I mean, you have to be careful with this thing. You have to do the ancient chant. So I'll get it out here. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! A spider Co. spider Co. makes excellent knives. This is by far their smallest knife. But I'm gonna use this today to slice open my giant box and if you don't like a big box you probably have a little weenie all right we are packed full ladies and gentlemen we are packed full what we got we have Thor love and thunder that's a Natalie Portman toy Natalie Portman deserves her own toy I have a big poster of her from Leon the professional she was great even as a child actress we have ooh, very nice the 40th anniversary collectible uh, he-man this, this is the 40th anniversary edition very cool 
Let's see what else we have in here. Like I said, this stuff's... Ooh, this is the 50th anniversary Hedora. Hedora is the uh, smog monster, the toxic waste monster, whatever you want to call it. I think it was the, called the Godzilla versus the smog monster when it came out in the States. But Hedora, this is a, a fit, uh, collectible Hedora figure from SH Monster Arts, my favorite toy manufacturers. Oh, we have the Omnibus, the first Omnibus for Conan the King, uh, illustrated by John Buscema and uh, written by Roy Thomas, or Busima, Bus Bushima, Busima. I've always called him Buscema, it's probably wrong, but he's one of my favorite Marvel artists, and he, especially his renditions of Conan and uh, like Savage She-Hulk were always really good. We have G.I. Joe, this is uh, Snake Eyes, it comes with the wolf. There's a, a story about why this means so much to me, but that's for another time. And let's see, and then the big, La Resistance is <laughs> my giant 30 centimeter Godzilla. Ugh. There is the Godzilla. I have no idea if this is in frame or is not in frame, but I'll crack this thing open and give you guys a quick peek at this one. The rest I'm, I'll open on my own later. All right. So here's that big Godzilla. What's in the box? Let's find out what's in the box. So this is one of the X Plus range. Um, a couple people on Twitter told me about X Plus. They said it was awesome. I looked into them, they're huge. Their collectibles they make are huge. They're two, three, 400 bucks a piece usually, but um, I don't think they're super poseable like an SH Monster Arts, but I don't play with my toys. I just have them sitting out to look cool. So this should be right up my alley. I've ordered some other X Plus things. There's a big Mechagodzilla coming, Mechagodzilla is fantastic always Let's open this bad boy up i do not want to wreck this box but the box definitely looks like it wants me to wreck it so we're going to try the bottom same thing i don't like the folding they've done on here can you pull the front off somehow one eternity later <laughs> All right, there we go. That's better. You guys right now are seeing this before. I can see it. That's not fair in life. All right, very cool. Let's see. Very excited about this. That, oh! I have this big belly right now. It makes a nice temporary shelf for things. That's one big ass blister pack. All right, let's see how this bad boy is held together. More tape. Hiya! Hiya! No mere tape shall contain the glory of Godzilla. Arguably the most important part of any Godzilla the tail. I would say in the case of Shin Godzilla, it is the most important part. But this is not Shin Godzilla. Instruction manual in case you can't figure out how to put the tail in the hole. And again, kind of like the big box thing, if you don't know how to put the tail into the hole, don't be embarrassed to ask for help. She'll know where to put it. Let's get this out of the way. So we can see this glorious bad boy. He has a little, get a scale protector. Look at that, look at those feet. A true, uh, the best versions of Godzilla always have huge feet. This is really, really cool. Very, very cool. And then we're gonna take this big tail. Maybe I do need instructions. <laughs> this is pretty hard plastic. karma for making fun of the fact that it came with instructions. Let 
I may have to cut this part out so you guys don't know how weak I am. I can't even get a rubber toy together. I should have used all my power of Grayskull on that little knife. I need the rest of the power! Hmm. <laughs> well, I can see why these don't come pre-assembled. You have to prove your dedication to Godzilla by, by assembling it. <clears throat> I could run this under some hot water and get the rubber softer, more malleable, but I don't really want to get my brand new toy wet. So we're going to try the American style of brute force. I can definitely push harder, but I don't want to break anything. It's already becoming slightly more malleable just from the friction of me trying to push it in there. And you have to push this hard, getting the tail into the hole. Just stop. You probably weren't doing your, your pre-maintenance. You get that hole nice and lubricated, nice and moist, excited to beckon in the tail. <sighs> and we're there. We're sealed. We have a sealed, complete, footless Godzilla. Let me find that foot. It went way over here. Oh, yes. All right. So it looks like there was actually a dab of glue in here, so I'll have to re-glue that later. But put this foot back, and we have our fully assembled Gojira! All right, well here we have the post-glued final version of Godzilla here. This thing is fantastic. I do not have shelf space on my Godzilla shelf, so I have to move some things around. But here it is, it's very, very cool. I like it very much. X plus, thumbs up. And then as an added bonus, I'll crack open this smog monster box. I'm not gonna take this one out of the box right now, but I'll take it out of the, the outside box for you guys. Maybe, maybe. All right. He's always had really cool boxes. There he is. There's Hedora, the smog monster. So he comes with a couple different forms. You can see him on the back there. I don't know if you can see that or not. He has a couple different forms. Like the upright form, the arms and everything, and then the, like the flying version, things like that. But yeah, it says right here, Hedorah 50 is the 50th anniversary, 1971, so last year. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you come into a situation where you have to apply the uh, principles of Kung Fu, try and make sure you use those principles with evil intent. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. Fuck this shit, I'm out.